Hello and welcome back to The Note from Tokyo. Now it scarcely feels at street level as though this country is in a recession, but there is a lot of macro pessimism towards Japan at present. However, when it comes to the corporate sector and the cash that could be released from their balance sheets, there's grounds for micro optimism. I spoke to the head of Wisdom Tree here in Japan, Jesper Kohl. Can I start by taking a look at this chart which shows us uh, the amount of cash ties up in uh, Japanese companies' balance sheets. Put this in context for us. How, why have they got quite so much cash squirreled away? You find that basically, you know, corporate profitability, corporate cash flow generation over the last four or five years, mm. you know, has basically doubled. And you see that, you know, that the retained earnings on corporate balance sheet are now more than 100 trillion yen for the listed companies. Right. Put this in perspective, this is uh, about one third of the entire market capitalization. So the cash accumulation right. has been phenomenal. It really does look like a value play on that basis. A third of what you're buying is safely just there in cash. Exactly. Buy. Japan is this value play. The question for 2016 is, will that cash be used for the shareholder? And here I am very optimistic. Remember that last year in 2015, mm. Corporate Japan adopted the Corporate Governance and Corporate Stewardship Codes, which mm. means that for the first time in the history of the country, you've got corporate managers held accountable by the pension managers, by the insurance companies, by the National Sovereign Wealth Fund, right, right to generate rates of return. And we're seeing that the cash flow is starting to be used for capital stewardship. How do we see that? Right. We see that with number one, dividends. Dividend growth in Japan is one of the highest of the advanced industrialized worlds. Dividend growth currently is running at a rate of about 15%. Right. And then on top of that, you find that share buybacks are accelerating very, very sharply. Just in the last quarter, we had the record ever amount of share buybacks. Okay, so in the US, for a long time, the corporate, corporates have been the marginal net buyer of US stocks. If you strip them out, there's barely any net buying going on. That's a game that is almost over in the States. It's a game that you're saying is really only just beginning here in Japan. Exactly. One third of the equity base, right? The equivalent of one third of the equity base is in cash. Now the incentive structures have changed in Japan and that cash is going to be deployed with share buybacks. I reckon that after share buybacks of around 7 trillion yen in the last year, mm. I think for the current 2016, share buybacks running close to 10 trillion yen is actually reasonable to expect. Okay, one final question. Many people regard Japan as being the ultimate giant value trap. It's disappointed many times over the last 25 years. It's in the process, process of disappointing again. The market has sold off. Why should it be different this time? What is different this time is that the incentives for corporations have actually changed. Stewardship, capital stewardship, uh, you know, raising rates of return, capital efficiency is now a target. Mm. For the first time in the history of Japan, when you meet with a company, right, mm. uh, you find that on page one or page two of their investor presentation, they actually do have an ROE target. And yeah. trust me, three or four years ago, they didn't know how to spell ROE. So <laughs> what's different this time around is that with the stewardship code, with the governance code, you do now have a new incentive system for better capital stewardship and that's why Japan is not going to be a value trap. So I think that does make a very fair summary. If you want to try doing pure value investing, looking at the cash flows that could be coming out of Japanese companies, there should be some value to be had here.